I got a T30. Um, and I've so far loosened that bolt. And uh, there's a T30 right here. Excuse me, right under here. It's a pain in the ass. Um, it's hard to hit when you're going underneath there. Um, so I'm going to take that wire tie off. See if I can help in the matter. Connects to that. Be very careful. Don't cut the hose. So I'm going to get that out of the way. And hopefully I can uh, get that one screw out and then push that. All right. Down. So what I did was had the screwdriver and I put it right in that place where the sensor was and then right underneath that sensor it's going to say the uh, push button on that sensor is down there it's very similar to this that's what I was talking about with that rocker switch you would pull that down usually what I do is I push in on the sensor body to get it uh, just reset the seating and then I push down and then what I was talking about I put that screwdriver in there and because my hand was, it was tough to get in there and just kind of do, give it a little bit of twist and you'll see it let go. All right, so what you need to do is you'll put this 27 millimeter in there. You'll have to bring that down, shove it in there and then get it connected to the sensor. All right, uh, I had to stop the video because I had a trouble, had troubles with, uh, well, a couple. Number one, I dropped this kind of setup assembly in the engine bay somewhere, I can't find it. I took the belly pan off, still can't find it, so I'm assuming when I drive it'll fall wherever it's at, but it's not near any belts or anything. And it's not a 10 millimeter. But uh, anyways, what I was having troubles with is, um, let's see here. Yeah, so this one, um, I, I first thought it had something to do with the, the lips of the, uh, the uh, deep socket but it was not the problem it's how deep the socket was so the newer version i got it goes down a little bit deeper which allows the electrical uh, connection area that goes in here go in and you can get maybe about three millimeters extra meat uh, around it to where you can actually tighten um, with this one i could never it was just right at the top and it wouldn't tighten so um, I figure the best setup I had, I used a small, so I, I think it's a half an inch. I used a smaller connection piece. What I did was, is I put it in there uh, with, excuse me, with this uh, setup first. And then I put it in there. Again, you'll have to get the wires out of the way so you can get around the sensor. And then I had a pull. All right, I stuck that in there and then I had an extension here and then I tightened it up. And I forget what size this is. That's, I'm pretty sure that's a size here is a half an inch. And then I, I can't remember the size down, but long story short, that was my best setup. Just going in like that. If you have a second hand to hold down that bridge down that you loosen the two bolts and sh shove it in, in there and then doing the other stuff, it makes it a lot easier. Good luck. After getting it on, it'd be a good idea to watch that seal right there or where it connects to the sensor to the um, part of the engine um, where the high pressure goes through and make sure it's not leaking. Make sure you tighten it good enough. Uh, it didn't take much to tighten. I was kind of surprised. I almost hand, hand tightened it enough. Uh, so it doesn't take much. Just It's kind of like putting in, I guess you could say, um, um, spark plugs it's not much not, not much tension don't over tighten as always please subscribe